Hi guys, welcome to the webinars. Can you guys hear me? Hi, hi. Um, let's just wait for a couple more minutes, okay, for everyone to tune in, and then I will start the session for today. I welcome. Um, okay, let's just wait for one to two minutes, okay? And then we use start session for today. By the way, if you have any question along the way, you can ask me anytime, all right? I will try to answer all your question. What's wrong with this light? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, let's just start the world section for today. Welcome everyone. All right. Um, so today's session it's gonna be a little web actually. Today should be the first series, but I think there will be some like misunderstanding. So I'm going to combine with silly one and two. Okay, I will keep it simple, easy for you guys to understand. If you guys don't know about LL web or anything, you can just ask me. Okay, I will make it really simple. Okay, because I use LL web to trade as well. Okay. And Disclaimer first, guys, before we start our webinar, as usual, remember that everything in this video is educational in nature. Nothing should be construed as investment or trading advice. All right. If you guys want to trade, please, please do your own due diligence before you guys trade. Okay. Okay. So, what we're going to cover today is introduction to Elliott Wave, what is the impulse wave how you look or you read a corrective wave and fracture nature of Elliott wave, okay? And about myself, my name is Peggy. I'm a trade analyst at Error Fraudulent Group. So you will see me and my colleague every uh, Monday, which is yesterday, I did some live trading section. 
I don't know whether you guys are joining, but there will be live on Facebook and every Tuesday going to be education. Okay, you will see me. And recently, I just passed another platform here on the screen. Okay, if you guys want to know uh, how to pass the platform, you can try. But so basically, you have to pass like two uh, challenge, two phase, which is 8% and 5%, which is they have like 5% of max, maximum daily dot out. All right. And so basically, what is uh, Elliot Wave? Any one of you guys trade? Um, like using Elliot Wave to trade? No? Anyone? Okay. Hi guys, welcome to the webinars. We just started. Okay. So actually, Elliot Web is just followed by Mr. Elliot. Okay. So he's a Carlton. Um, so basically, it inspired inspired by uh, Dow Theory. Okay. Any one of you guys know Dow Theory? Uh, so basically, Dow Theory is just like, you know, it looked like this. Okay. Basically. And he, you know, observe and then he see that actually, you know, there is a rise and fall of the excess prices and uh, arises from the trading behavior of many, many people. And they are both emotion and physical, uh, fixed psychological principle involved in the decision making in the investor. So basically how it look like, okay, this is Mr. Elliot and this is how is Elliot Wave look like in a chrome piece uh, cycle. Okay, so basically there will be you impulse wave and collective wave here. And I will explain in the next slide. Okay, you don't have to worry about this. So, but this is basically it look like this. And there will be like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, we call impulse and collective move will be like, you know, A, B, C or six X. Okay. Let me delete. Okay. And what's the basic principle of Elliot Web theory? Okay. Actually, that would be um wave, which I just told you that would be motive wave, right? And collective, right? And the motive actually they move in the direction of the train. Okay, there will be five wave, which is label in one, two, three, four, five, which is one here, two, three, four five and collective move or collective wave is move again the trend which is in three waves in label at abc okay when you look here i try to explain for you guys okay i will go it slowly when you look here at this slide what you can see that um okay this is wave one two three four and five right and after that finish the five wave then a b c okay and always in the impulse wave which is wave one three one three and five we call impulse right there will always be the um subdivided wave which is can see that like here one two three three like one two three four five which is complete in web one right and web two actually actually the retracement of web one or pullback that will be a b c right and then from web one or uh, sorry from web two to web three that will be another subdivided web which is one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, and then one, two, three, four, five, right? And subdivided web here, actually, if you look further here, actually is a wave one, right? It's a wave one. And wave one here, look here. And from here is a wave two, all right? Wave two, in wave two, there will be a b c right in the a b c there will be one two three four five all right okay and a to b there will be a b c which is a six set any any one of you guys clear about this okay there will be wave two and then there will be a wave two to three four and oop, and five okay let me try to delete here 
here yeah, right wave two wave three wave four and continue to wave five and like wave one two here three wave four and five that will be like one two three four and five like this okay let me see if there is any question i cannot i cannot see let me see any question guys you guys understand about this so far hi simon yeah i just i just saw your message good day to you too okay so far you, you guys clear about this right so far anyone like a bit confused about the basic principle yes or no guys I, okay i think you guys um <laughs> understand right so far okay if you guys don't understand you can ask me all right okay now we let's move to the next slide okay so now i'm go, going to talk about the impulse wave okay the, like i mentioned impulse wave there will be always be one three and five and wave one sorry wave two and wave four is called collective which is actually what well, you can see that wave one like wave three wave five is move again the train which is in this case it's called uptrend right and wave three uh, sorry wave two is a pullback wave four is a pullback in here there will be collective which is a b c a b c or six x okay and this is just for a guideline for you okay so actually wave two is typically okay it will retrace 50 61 78.6 percent or sometimes it could go up to 85.4 of wave one which is you draw people from here to here wave two retrace around 52 61.8 or this number but cannot go below starting point of wave one which is here okay um some of the um um like the like the trader who trade the elliot web they always just said the rule is that basically web one uh, sorry web two will usually retrace 50 to 61.8 percent okay some of them they, they set the rules but actually if i trade right i don't have a rule the my rule is just that web two just cannot go below the starting point of web one okay and web three typically which is web three is um extension or it could be go up to three to three point six percent of web one plus web two basically at least they have to be extended to extension 161.8 percent of web one here you can use like projection here here and then you will get web three okay from the starting point okay from the starting point if you look at the chart i will show you usually like um let me um show you like i call the trade for the like um For the AUD USD, okay, like yesterday, if you guys um join my live trading, I think we caused quite a good trade, okay, like here, for example, here, okay, from here, this is a good example. I have a good trade for this 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 pair, like you know when I see um I just start to like mark when I just saw that okay, this is a swing high and swing low, okay, and when you see that okay when you see and then price retrace over here you pull the fibo okay and then you put the off it okay it like right, retrace here 50 percent and then i will mark that okay this it could be like wave one and wave two and after that wave three and wave five like you know if you trade in a wave right your eye train to like okay you would try to like count 
or you mark that, okay, this could be the ELET wave, which is when they mark like this is a wave, like, like a subdivided wave, right? Because this I label as wave one, like from here, uh, I think I remove first, okay, like here, like one, two, three, and actually wave three, and I, I as uh, like say a chart from here because I pay the pullback. But usually I recommended you to trade uh, wave one, three, and five, which is you follow the trend. Okay. And wave here, let's just say that, okay, you know that there wave three and wave four, and then wave four ended, let's just say here. And then you want to find the wave five because you want to trade from wave four to wave five because you want to follow the trend. Okay, how you get a wave five is just that easy, really simple and easy is that you just use the distance from wave one and then you will get wave five. Easy, if you don't know how to trade, you just do like that, basically. And then like somewhere here. So basically your wave five will be ending around here or um, projection, 61.8% projection, which is somewhere here. How you do that? I don't want to go too fast, right? Because there will be going to be the next slide for this one. So um, like here, there will be like one and three. Oh, no, sorry. That will be wave um, one and three. That will be, yeah, which is, I don't have, is it? Mm -hmm. Sorry, where is my again? Uh, from here, we want to wave three. Sixty one point eight. Okay, it's somewhere around here. Okay, so you don't have eight percent. Okay, so like I say, um, if you want to trade, actually, basically, yellow wave is based on uh Fibonacci, right? Firstly, you just have to find a uh, swing high and swing low. Okay, and after that, you wait for price to pull back. And then after that, you see that, okay, finish wave one. And then you see that, okay, if wave two, if wave two retrace 50% or 61.8%, let's say in this case, they retrace 50%, right? And then you mark at wave two. But wave two, and then you think that, oh, that, that is maybe yellow wave, right? Yellow wave, and then you trade from wave two to wave three. Okay, how you can do wave three? Basically, you pull. Let me, so you get confused, right? You use the um, people from here, projection. In this case, it could be up to 161. Or you can use like the extension. You can use the extension from like 161. Sometimes it can go up to 360. 361.8 percent in this case it, they, they they stop at like two 200 percent here okay and then after that you mark at this is wave three okay so um like after that it completes my wave five and then i also saw from here and then on your left you want to know that also is at the resistance level it just light up very nicely with um protection and end of wave five okay okay so, and then what about wave four like i say wave four which is here typically they will trace 14.6 percent 23.6 percent or 38.2 percent of wave three okay actually I, I wave actually this one wave four some of the trader okay they said the rule is that wave four should not um retrace more than 50 percent okay let's say you pull the feeble and cannot like retrace more than 50 percent because some of them they say that if they retrace more than 50 percent it's too sharp and then they don't consider at elevate but to me i will follow the rules we will show you later okay also about wave five, I say wave five easy for you, which is you can use the distance of wave one here. Wave one, you will get a wave five in the same uh, 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 distance from wave one, and then you get wave five, or you can use um, the inverse, which is 
1.236% to 1.618% the retracement of wave 4 or um, it's the uh, projection 61.8% of wave 1 plus wave 5 which I just did for you guys to see just now okay anyone confused I will try to go slowly because to me I take time okay to like absorb all this like info but when you master it it really you know uh, easy for you to trade okay okay now this is the um, um elite wave for the uptrend it look like this right Y one two three four five and then a b c which is what i say is that like this it could be wave one right and this is wave two because this is for uptrend so basically this is a higher degree okay wave one wave two and then after that they go to wave three wave four and wave five right and in wave one there will be subdivided which is one two like one two three four five okay you get what i mean and this is for uh downtrend okay downtrend is still the same okay i will mark this is a wave one and this is wave two so basically it will look like that wave one wave two and for daughter it's going to be wave three down here again wave four and all the way wave five okay and always in the impulse wave wave one three and five there will be subdivided which is one two three four five and one to two there will be a b c which is collective okay or the six set all right Okay, so now, to me, like I say, you just have to follow the rules, okay? Because there is so many things you need to remember, but if you just follow the these rules, okay, you master the yellow wave. Okay, don't need to make it so complicated because like a lot of people say this and that, but to me, you just follow, okay? The rule, they say that wave two, okay, cannot retrace more than 100% of the beginning of wave one. So basically, this is the beginning of wave one, right? It's just that wave two cannot go below the beginning of wave one. Okay, if go below meaning it's no, it's not an LA wave. Okay. And they say that wave three can never be the shortest of the wave one, three, and five, meaning that wave three cannot be the shortest, but they can be shorter than wave five, but cannot shorter than wave one. Okay. They could be shorter than wave one, but cannot shorter than wave five. Okay, you, I believe you get what I mean, right? And wave four can never ever overlap or coincide with wave one so basically the wave one okay wave one here okay they cannot go coincide or go below of the wave one if go below it's not called elite wave okay this you just follow the rule doesn't matter how how many uh, percent like this is just for you for the guideline okay like, but most of the time they will just retrace or allow this number but if you cannot remember then that doesn't matter as long as you remember that the rule is that wave 4 cannot go over like wave 1 wave 2 cannot go below or retrace more than the beginning of wave 1 and wave 4 cannot go overlap and wave 3 cannot can, uh, cannot ever be the chapter of the wave 1 3 and 5 okay just remember this okay guys um okay i will see any questions so far okay so now i'm going to move to leading diagonal okay so basically i will have the example for you as well leading diagonal pattern so basically is this is for uptrend in the this picture in the this is uptrend downtrend okay in the uptrend usually the leading diagonal will happen in wave one okay wave one which is this is like you can call this an egg and then this is like wave one wave two and continue to wave three here right wave four and wave five and in the wave one there will be um we call that subdivided wave which is labeled in one two three and four five 
like you here. One, two, three, and four, and five, right? And you remember that every, every time, okay, web one to web three, uh, web one to web two, they always have the collective web sheet A, B, C, right? Okay, A, B, C, and then from web two, also have A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C here. You get what I mean? You can understand what I try to say, okay? And usually when you see the graph, right, you just have to kind of like, you know, draw the line like that. You will see something like that. It started to like have like that, meaning that this is going to form the wedge, right? And then you see that, okay, there will be one, two, three, four, five, which is the five web, which is actually the web one, right? Web one here. Okay, and then what it say here that web two and web three always collective, right? And web two, three, and five is always, uh, it could can be collective or impulse wave. Okay, like web three, one, three, and five. And usually they say that web one usually the longest. That's why web one there will be um leading diagonal, meaning that this is uh, on uh still on continue on the uptrend. Yeah, sorry. Okay, leading diagonal pattern meaning that it's still on the uptrend it look like this okay uh, if on downtrend it will look like this as well okay like you see wave one which is maybe just like wave one wave two okay and this is for the wave three wave four and wave five okay always wave three wave four wave four cannot go retreat above wave one right cannot overlap okay and wave three, wave four, and within wave one, there will be leading diagonal, could like one, two, three, four, and five. And inside will be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay? Here is how it look like. Okay, if you look at the chart here, over here, which is five on the internet, okay? When you see that over here, from here, okay? I will label this one at wave one, right? Wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five. Okay. And in this is X. Okay, just put X. From wave one, there will be leading diagonal over here. And then you can see that there will be one from here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then there will be A. A, B, C, D, okay, like here. A, B, C, sorry. Um, let me delete for this one. Okay, like from here, they have A, B, C, and then from like small A, B, C, there will be another A, B, C. You get what I mean? And then from here, from two to three, that will be called impulse. But what you can see that, there is no like subdivide, that doesn't matter. Sometimes not every wave that will be subdivided wave, right? Okay, this is what I mean. This is extended wave, so wave three is the longest one. Okay, from wave four, you will see that there will be A, B, and C, which is wave A. A in the wave A, B, C, there will be smaller subdivider, which is A, B, C. Okay, and then after that wave five, right? And over here, what you can see that wave four not all at wave one which is wave one over here and wave two is not retreat more than uh, the beginning of wave one okay do you see the picture here right okay what's about the um that train here okay here this is wave one two three four and five right okay Wave one is not retreat more than the beginning of wave one, which is here, correct? Wave four is not overlap. Wave uh, one is correct. And in wave one, two, okay, okay. In wave, in wave one, in wave one here, okay, there will be leading diagonal here, right? And then you can see that one, two three four and five five is always have to be ending at wave one okay the starting point is like here the x right and then you pull you know that is a wave one 
wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, and wave 5. Ending wave 5, which is actually is a um, high degree, which is wave 1. Okay? Like I say, a uh, leading diagonal is always, most of the time, it's always uh, happen at wave 1. Okay? The beginning of wave 1, all right? Any any question, guys? Do you follow? Do you understand? I try to um explain. Maybe I pause here a little bit. So far, you guys understand, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, and. Another one is ending diagonal pattern. Actually, it occur or happen in wave five. Okay, it actually, it's a large wave already. Basically, it's the same. It's just that it happened at wave five. Like over here, right? Wave five, and then you know that this is um we call um wedge, right? Here you pull like that, and then you know that it's wave five or wave C which is ending diagonal, what they say that consists of five wave labeled in one, two, three, four, five. Each wave subdivided into the six act, A, B, C, or X, Y, uh, W, X, Y. Okay, and wave one and wave four overlap in the prices. So if you list it, you confuse, you don't need to read, right? Because <laughs> I will try to uh, explain clearly. You can ask me because if you know how to trade LA wave, they will you know, make you a lot of money. <laughs> and then you can hold the trade for a longer term. Um, the, the, the trade at the moment, I don't have. It's just that yesterday I, I have um, shot the AUD, AUD USD, which I just showed you just now. They said yesterday I just caught that uh, I added way, but so far I haven't seen any. Because I don't any trade only Elliott Wave, I trade with so uh, so many techniques, not only like Elliott Wave. If I see the wave, I will trade. Okay, for me, Elliott Wave helped me to hold the position longer. Okay, um, maybe I will show you at the chart later and see if there is any Elliott Wave, okay, in the chart, all right? Same here. Um, again, if you want to master the Elliott Wave, right, it will, it takes time for you to master it. You might have time and then you can like back test, you know, look for the uh, previous or like the far, far away. And then you start, you try to count the wave, right? Because if you don't practice sometime, you know, you study, but then you don't really improve it. Okay. Okay. I will show you in the Richard letter. Okay. So this is the same, right? Happen in uh, wave five, ending diagonal. This is for example. Okay, here should be one, two, and then three, four, and five here. Okay, five, well, you can see here, ending diagonal, it happened in wave five, right? And then you will see that from um over here, you have to pull from here, right? This is called wave one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, within the one, two, two, there will be six X, X, can be A, B, C. It's B for you, for you to remember with A, B, C, which is six set, which is a collective, right? And then sometime from here, there will be A, B, C, which is C1 with ending with one. Okay, from like from wave four to wave five, actually is a, um, ending with wave five, and then you can see that falling down here. Okay, sometime if you don't trade with Elliott wave, right? Basically, you know that this is um a uh, bearish, bearish wedge, right? If you draw like that, right? You know already. Price if it break below, you're going to wait for pullback and then you sell. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. And this is another example here as well. Okay. Wave five here. And end of wave five, and then after that, you end uh, is finishing uh, wave five. Now you can see that price is like boom from there. But easy if you don't trade a wave, you just draw wedge right there, price pull 
uh, break above you have for pi to pull back and then you buy okay from here you can see that wave uh, that we have like um over here they have a b here c right here c and they also have a like small one one two three four five which is five is wave one okay like wave a a b and then from here they will have like small one which is one two three four five okay okay i will finish fast okay this is another example okay web one two web three web four and web five right in web five what you have one two three four five okay we see here okay ah let me move a bit quicker so we have time to look at the uh chart later okay so now we're going to move to collective wave okay so collective collective wave there will be two type of collective wave two style one is sharp collection and another one is sideway collection so basically the sharp collection is moving steeply again the trend and one of the higher degree right like they move really like steep down like that and there will be four main uh type for um sideway collection okay we have zigzag flat uh triangle and collection combination okay how it look like okay how, how my way is not coming okay how you look like this is um we call the sharp um like sharp collection so basically what you can see here wave one two three four and five okay what they say that if the wave two is sharp, like wave two is very sharp like that, okay? Usually wave four will be sideways. This is sideways, we should call sideways like that, okay? Will be wave four. But if wave two is sideways, wave four will be really sharp. So it's either wave, either one of them be sharp, another one will be sideways, okay? okay and what about a zigzag okay zigzag is really easy for you to like uh to spot so basically the zigzag is a three wave collection cons uh a structure label in abc which is a sub wave um subsequent of five three five what does it mean uh oh, sorry here Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, right? And there will be A, B, C. Okay, and they say that wave A, C are motif, and a while wave B will be collective uh, wave. Okay, basically it's like wave here, A, B, C, motif or impulse is the same. That one will be like, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And they say that wave B will be collective, right? So usually collective will be A, B, like A, B, C. C will be ending here, okay? And after that, it will be one, two, three, four, and five. Five will be at wave C, okay? Okay, this is how it look like. Okay, that would mean here. Okay, web A, A, B, C. Like I say, one, B, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, whenever, like, you know, the wave, right, which is in power, there always be like one, two, three, four, five, five wave in the, um, in the like impulse wave, right? And collective wave is always have A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, or six X. Okay. What about the uh, uh, flat collection? So they say flat collection, there will be always three wave collective structures labeled in A, B, C, okay? And sub wave, there will be another three, three, five. What does it mean by three, three, five? Let's say pride, um go up like really like on uptrend usually like really strong uptrend like that right after that you know you will notice the price will be have a sideways here okay when you have the sideways like this right you will label that okay that will be from here a b 
property, right? It's sideways, you just say sideways and within the um the A, B, and C, there will be subdivided where which is labeled A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C. Okay, and B to C usually will be impulse. So impulse meaning that there will be five web in there. There will be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then it will be like here, still sideways. Okay. And expander thread, what does that mean? Okay, actually, if you look at the chart slide, right, you not really look really perfect like this. Okay, this is just for example. Okay. What it is mean the common type of extended fat, which is wave B, wave B ending above the start of wave A. Okay. And wave C ended start uh, below a start of wave B, C and B. Here. Wait, let me see. What is different? Okay, so basically same uptrend, right on uptrend sideways here, and then you label A, B, C, okay, and always have one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, and then they say that wave B, they say wave B is end above the start of wave A, which is start of wave A, which is where, where is wave A? Let me see, let me delete first, okay. This web A. Ah, here. This side is here. Okay. Just have an example here, right? It's about to be like that. Web, but extended one. Web B have to end us above, like um, the beginning of web A. Okay. This is the beginning of web A here. I don't use this. I use the uh, um. The highlight, okay. The beginning of wave A, so it's uh, in its above, and wave C is go below the starting of wave B, which is yeah, this is starting of wave B from here, A, B, okay. Ending here, so extended uh, flat, okay. Now, triangle. The triangle, they label at A, B, C, D, E, and they will sub, they will sub wave because 3, 3, 3, 3. What does that mean? Okay, when you know when price is on uptrend, and then you draw the triangle here, like this, right? And then you will know that there will be um, A, B, C, D, E. And what does mean is that inside there will be three, 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 three meaning in the web um, A, there will be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So it's called three, 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 three. Okay, after that, there will be break above here. Usually, we wait for price to pull back, right? And then we buy. If we trade based on just um, uh, like you know, break, uh, break out the triangle, either bullish or bearish, right? And there will be different type of triangle. Okay, let's say here, for example, they have ascending, they have contracting, they have the ascending as well. It look like this and expanding or Reverse uh, triangle, uh, triangle. Okay, it look like this. Okay, it could be expand like this, like this, like this. Okay, this is just for example in the bull and bear market. Okay. Now this is a complete of the yellow wave. Uh, any questions so far, guys? Before I will move to the chat, any questions so far? Uh, just ignore this slide. I think this slide I just show you guys already. Okay. The... Okay. Any questions, guys? If you don't have, I will just bring you to the chat, which is Simon requested. Okay. Now, let's just look at the chat. Okay. 
for example. I don't know whether I can find now at the moment, okay? It's just that this is a good one that I I have yesterday. Um, let's just look at the uh, go, maybe go, go, go. Okay. Let I see if we can find um in H four. Like here. One, two. Um, this one could be okay if I look like this, okay. Um okay, I think it's another uh, let me have here. Okay, there will be like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. What you see the rule is that one is retrace here. Right. Web two is not retrace more than the beginning of web one. Yes. Web four is not overlap web one. Yes. Okay. And web three there will be a shorter in the web one, three, and five. Yes. In this case, they are in my eye. They are short. They are shorter than wave five, but longer than wave one. So this, uh, I consider this LF wave, right? And from here, I think there will be. Um, see, I know. I think it's called. There will be another um. Wave is. Um, like. One, two, three. No, this cannot, okay? Because wave three to chop. Okay, this is, I call, elite wave, okay, for head four. Like, if you see, and then you need to see, like, in there will be, like, small wave or not. There will be, I think, one A. If you want to see, uh, like, like uh, um no it's like it's not a good one okay but sometimes that they not have the correction go in there uh, let me see maybe no this is for me but to me if I look okay this is like my yellow bay for goal okay. Or let me find another one for you to see. The... This cannot. Let me look for the biggest wave, okay? Ah, maybe this one may have the... Like before that, right? I just want to see if there is any web here. Okay. There will be uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think there will be this one. Okay. You want to look like that? Hey. Right here. Okay. In here, there will be one, two, three. No, it should be X, A, 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 B, C. Let me look closely. A, B, C. To me, okay. Where is the, there will be three, four, and a web E, okay, it's sideways and then break above. Okay, if you don't count this wave, right, in over here, we just like um draw the, um, the channel line here, like from here to here. Okay, what you can see here, 
end of wave five, price is like you know, um, falling within the bearish channel line, and price is break above, meaning that here price break above this one, you wait for price to pull back and then you buy, right? I do, I cannot find for go go. I don't find any. Yeah, let or maybe I look for the bigger picture for week. If I look for the week one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Some people they will count like like this side starting with one, two, three, four, and this one they could say like in a wave five. And they say that okay, wave one is here, wave four is not overlap, wave one, right? Where you can see, and wave two is not go below, and a wave five. And you want to like get a wave five, we can use like wave one plus wave T is a projection 61.8%. You see exact at like ending with wave five here. Yeah, either in here or in here, either here or wave five, right? You see, and then from wave uh wave five, I think that will be like uh let me call yeah a b it will be small. I try to count like uh this it should be one two three four and five. Okay, this method is not so nice, but this is something that I can find. But it look like this. Okay. Um, two. Okay, and in wave two, you want to see that it's have an A, B, C. I think that will be like here. Collective will be one, two, and three. See, like A, B, C. C is at wave two, right? And wave three, one, should be one, two, three, four, five, the two small. Okay, this is like for go in the bigger picture, which is weekly. It's already in wave five here. Okay. And now. Okay. Day, daily. Daily, I don't find, yeah, but I think maybe I find for the Dow train. Okay, I can. Uh, one, two. Okay, that could be one, two, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, this is another wave. Okay, and wave two, two, wave five, that will be one, one, two. Um, three, four, and five. Let me see. Okay, here. Yeah. Wave one is not overlap. Wave wave four is not overlap. Wave one and wave two in us go or like literally more than hundred. Uh, the beginning of wave one, which is here. Okay, you get what I mean here. The subdivider, which is here. Okay, is a. Uh, in pulse, we have five wave in wave five and three to four. Three to four, I don't see that I got ABC, so it's um it's not a good example. Okay, but here okay, this one you also can count like A B C. No, you cannot A B C. Okay, this is for example, this is the one. Okay, but some people ask me why you end on in here. I don't count this a wave three, I count this a wave three. Okay, that's why I say different people they call it different wave. Okay. I don't this is a wave three and I think you can use like um you want to get the projection to get actually wave five is ending somewhere here. And remember that sometimes wave five ending around here or the distance from wave one, yeah, you can see that. Then you just like 100% should be like around here. But in this case, they're ending around this one. This is okay because wave three is the longest. Okay, and 
we follow the rule. Yeah, everything is correct and it's in a wave file. Okay, and then that will be in a wave file. And then after that, price is just go up. And of course, I trade, I know that price cannot go like, you know, that will be price have rejection at this level, like the support level three times. They make a triple uh, bottom here in daily. Okay, that's why price move up. Okay. All right, guys, any questions so far before I end the webinars? A look at the question. Any, any questions, guys? Just um to me, easy to remember. We just remember the rule, right? Like uh oh oh no. Just a recap, okay. Like wave like that, right? Okay, like wave two cannot go below the beginning of wave one. Okay, and usually they will retrace um about fifty and 61.8 percent okay but just cannot go below okay and wave four cannot go overlap or coincide with wave one which is wave one is here right cannot cannot go below and wave three cannot be the shorter of the wave one three and five okay it could be shorter than wave five but cannot shorter than wave one okay just that for elite wave and always in the small um, wave here that will be always in the subdivider, which is they'll have like one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and five usually is the ending like that with, with five. Okay, and the collective wave, which is wave one to two, usually there will be six sec or they will have um a. B and C. Okay, C is always ending here. And then, okay, from two to three will be come uh, impulse, right? The impulse that we have one, that we have always, most of the time, not always, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then collective again, that will be what? A, B, and C. Then again, if you can count the subdivider, A, B, one, two, three, and four, and five, and the entire move here in the peak, uh, in the uh, bigger pictures actually is the wave one, wave two, and wave three of the a higher degree of wave like you know which is this is a wave one okay and this is one like one mm. oh and two here Okay, and then three, four, five. Okay, and then here will be, it could be like uh, A, maybe B and C. Okay, because it's what, it's, collect, it's our collective wave, right? It'll be A, B, C, six, six, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to launch the poll. I hope you, you guys can help me vote. All right, and I hope you guys learning something as well. Appreciate you can if you guys can vote for me. All right, guys, I will close the board. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time today. Okay.
Um, hope to see you guys again um, next webinar. So um, Monday, please tune in to um, YouTube. We're gonna live at YouTube on the IC Market Global. Okay, there will be uh, every Monday and Tuesday, there will be educational, which is you will see me and my colleague. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Take care. Okay, bye for now.